Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new study explores how our brains enable us to get creative. Researchers at the University of Haifa and Rambam Medical Center focused on creative thinking related to problem solving. They found that thinking creatively involves two different, apparently contradictory networks within the brain, one associated with spontaneous thinking and another more conservative administrative network. The combination of the two is necessary to generate ideas that are not only original, but applicable to the problem at hand. According to this study, creative problem solving relies on both regions of the brain, because not every innovative idea is necessarily a helpful one. New ideas need to be evaluated to determine how useful they're likely to be when applied to the problem. It's a great example of how our brains employ systems of checks and balances, often without us even being aware of it. Next up, a new device could someday prove invaluable in the future industry of asteroid mining. The device is a new kind of gamma-ray spectrometer that is ideally suited to detecting gold, platinum, and rare earth elements in space. It's the sort of tool that every asteroid prospector would need. It's being developed by scientists at Vanderbilt University, Fisk University, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and the Planetary Science Institute. The most important innovation of this new spectrometer isn't its precision. It's actually not as good as other similar devices, but its compact design and relatively low power requirements. It weighs about a pound and runs on three watts of electricity. It's good enough to be useful in finding minerals present in asteroids, and it's small enough and cheap enough to be used aboard spacecraft. Asteroid barons of the future might find these little guys to be indispensable. And finally, a new study shows that what many of us heard growing up might be true. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. When it comes to school, anyway. A study of 5,000 9 to 11 year olds by researchers at Cardiff University found that students who ate a quality breakfast were twice as likely to score above average on tests compared to students who didn't eat breakfast. I say quality breakfast because the study also found that eating an unhealthy breakfast, like sweets, junk food, that sort of thing, had no positive effect. This is the largest study of its kind ever conducted, and its results represent the best evidence yet that diet and educational outcomes are linked. The authors of the study suggest that schools should view promoting health and learning not as separate priorities, but as complementary. The study is published in the journal Public Health Nutrition. A new study sheds light on how we think creatively. Scientists develop a spectrometer that could someday be an essential tool for asteroid miners, and a good breakfast leads to good grades. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you're not subbed already, and also please consider helping me to make more videos like this by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Adi.